In this video, we're going over hidden features of the Samsung Galaxy A10e. Hey guys, thank you for joining us. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. And hit that little bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new content. Also, in the description section of the video, you'll find a bunch of awesome uh, accessory recommendations for this phone, like great cases and screen protectors. So check out that as well. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So our first hidden feature is going to be a really cool feature, newer feature to uh, Android 9. And it's basically how to turn on dark mode. So let's go to the settings. My settings is right here, but on your phone, you can always swipe down from the top and the upper right corner, click on the little settings wheel right here. We're gonna go to display. And then we're just gonna turn on night mode. And night mode basically changes just about all the menu options to dark. So uh, dark uh, background with white lettering. It also will change your notification panel and all the text here gives it a really cool look and it also uh, helps to conserve your battery a little bit because when the phone uses uh, white it actually uses a lot more uh, energy and power but when it uses black it actually um, doesn't use as much energy therefore your battery will last longer you even notice the Google search will also turn uh, black in the night mode so that is a pretty cool little feature right there Let's go ahead and jump into our second hidden feature, which is gonna be the quick launch camera. How to launch your camera from any screen, even if your phone is off. Never miss a moment with what is called the quick launch camera. So all you're gonna do is just hit the power button twice. It'll turn on the phone and automatically take you right to the camera. So the phone was just off and I launched it. Now what I can also do is launch it from any app in the phone. So if I'm in Google Chrome, searching the web and something, uh, photo worthy comes up again just hit it twice that's going to take you right to the camera and you'll never miss that great shot so that is our quick launch camera and i use that all the time so always love sharing that feature our next hidden feature is going to show you how to use split screen on the Moto A10e. Now, basically, you wanna just say, hey, pick the two apps that you wanna use in your head first, and all you're gonna do is open those apps and close them. So I'm gonna open the first one, which will be YouTube, and then close it. And then I'm gonna open Google Chrome, and then close it. Now, the app that you want to be at the top of the screen, you'll wanna open that one back first. So hit your recent apps button, uh, it should be the three little bars at the bottom. Some phones are going to have it on the right, some are going to have it on the left, mine are on the right, so I'm going to tap that. I'm going to go over to YouTube, and what you're going to do is just tap on the icon at the top, and then go down to open in split screen view, and that will move it to the top of the screen, and then select the other app you want to be in your split screen, so I'm going to select Google Chrome, and now, I've got YouTube at the top and Google Chrome at the bottom. I can go and start playing a video. Let's turn the volume down, so. There we go. And now I can have YouTube playing while still browsing the web and doing other things at the bottom. So you can do this with text messaging. You can do it with uh, a bunch of apps. Uh, Instagram does not support this. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer, um, but Facebook will support it. So you'll have to kind of play around with some of the apps just to get to the ones that uh, will support it, just as an FYI. You can also turn it in the landscape position as well. And then you'll still be able to see your video on one side or whatever's at the top and use the other side for um, the browsing right here. So that is split screen. When you're done and you want to go back to using one screen, You'll see this little bar in the center of the screen. Just put your finger on it and drag down, and that will take you out of split screen. You can just swipe over to bring up your home menu, and now we are back to the home screen. There we go. All right, our next hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to use what's called the full gesture mode, and this is sort of an experimental mode of the phone. Um, you have to really know about it, uh, to one, know where to find it and kind of know how to use it. So I'm gonna give you just a little basic tutorial of what is called, again, full gesture mode. So we're gonna go to the settings. 
Again, mine is here. Yours will be found in the upper right corner. And we're gonna go to drum roll advanced features. And then we'll go to motions and gestures. And, oh, it is not there anymore. They have moved it. That's right, it's not there. It's actually in the display section. That's my bad there. So display. And then we're gonna go to navigation bar. And we're gonna switch from navigation buttons to full, full screen gestures. So now what you're gonna notice is that you won't have you won't have buttons at the bottom of your screen anymore. So it'll give you more screen. And basically now you'll just, you'll basically move up in order to use that button. So for example, um, just by swiping up in the center, this is how you would get back, this was how you would hit the home button. So let's say I'm on this screen, if I just swipe up in the center here, it'll take you back there. If I open Google Chrome, I wanna go back to my home screen, I'm just gonna swipe up and it'll take me back home. If I wanna use the recent apps, I'm just gonna swipe up on the little right section right here. I, it's a little hard to see, but there's a little uh, dash right above the screen, and that's what is your cue to do the swipe up. So I'm gonna swipe up here. That will take us to our recent apps. And then if I swipe to the left here, this is basically the back button. So just to demonstrate, if I go to settings, and I went to biometric and security, if I were to swipe up here, it'll take me back one step, and if I swipe again, it'll take me out of the app. So this is a cool feature. Uh, it takes some getting used to for sure. Um, I like it because it gives you more screen. You don't have the bottom of the screen cut off by the buttons. Um, but again, it does take some getting used to. So I'd encourage you guys to try it out and see if it's something you like. If it is, keep it. If not, go ahead and switch back. Switching back is as easy as just going back to the settings, going to display, and then navigation bar, and then just going back to navigation buttons. And that will restore it back to the way it is out of the box. All right. Okay, so our final hidden feature is gonna be just a really basic way to hide apps on the phone. So the first thing you wanna do to hide an app, you're gonna hold down on the home screen and go to home screen settings and then swipe up until you see hide apps. Tap on that. And we're gonna go through here and basically select the app that we want to hide. So in this case, I'm gonna hide Facebook. I'm gonna just check the box there, hit apply. And now if I go home, it's been removed from the home screen. And if I swipe up, it's also been removed from the app drawer. So basically there's no way to access the app anymore because it is now hidden. Now, how do you unhide the app after when you want to use it? Go ahead and hold down the screen, tap on home screen settings, swipe up, hit hide apps, and then you'll just delete Facebook from the hide apps menu, apply, and if we swipe up, Facebook should be back in this section right here. There it is. So that's the easy way on how you would hide an app on the phone. So. Anyway, guys, hope you did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and check out our other video, the tips and tricks of the Samsung Galaxy A10e. We have a lot more videos coming, so keep watching, stay tuned. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that button. Do us one more favor in the comment section down below. Leave us a comment and let us know uh, which hidden feature is your favorite one. And if any one of these, um, if this is your first time learning it, we always love to hear if we're teaching you guys new stuff. So definitely let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks again, have a good one.